Hey girl, hey, it's me, Amber D, and thank you so much for coming through for another video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, girl, so it is a Saturday morning. I just finished washing my face. I'm about to get into some skincare, some new skincare, actually. Girl, it's been, I feel like it's been a whole minute. I know I've been posting videos consistently, but November was so busy for me. Um, with the being my birthday month, we started off the month, that first weekend of the month, we did my birthday photo shoot. And then the next weekend, we did my birthday lunch with like family and friends. And then that next weekend, we did my birthday trip. And then after that was Thanksgiving. And then we went right into Vlogmas. So I haven't, I feel like I haven't had a chance to just kind of sit and catch up with you, girl. What's been going on? What's tea? How's work? Uh, but I do want to let you know that I've been trying a couple new skincare products. You know, I always like to take you along with me for my skincare journey um and my most recent skincare video in my road to 40 series my 40-ish skincare that whole skincare my morning a.m p.m routine is still exactly the same but i have been trying um a couple new products um this is the plumpkin retinol eye patches from tony moly and it's really cute i found these at um ulta and it just comes in this little package like this. And then we take the top off. It has the top with the little scoop so you can scoop out the eye patches. And I've actually been using these for a few weeks now. That's how you know I haven't had a chance to just kind of catch up with you. Because this is probably my third or fourth week using these. But this is what it looks like. Try not to drip anything. To have the patches and then you just kind of scoop it out with the little provided scoop that it gives you and one thing about eye patches that i love is you can really kind of customize them if you want to wear it this way depending on if you have more going on down here and less going on over here or how i prefer is to wear it oh wait. let me get some of this juice off is to wear it with the big part on the outer corner because that's kind of where I have a little bit more going on and then with the smaller part underneath the eye and then once I have both on Okay. These feel really good on. Um, once I have both on, I just like to, because after this, I'm not going to put on my regular eye cream that I would normally do in my regular routine, and which I would go all the way around the eye. And since I'm not going to do that afterwards, I'm just going to take the rest of the product that's on the patch and go in the same areas that I would with my my regular eye cream um now I, I really 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 love these patches again they're from tony moly um i had never heard of this brand before um but i found it at ulta i saw it on the ulta app and it had good reviews um the brand itself and this product um so i decided to try it out and I really, really like it. I really, really like it. I like my, you know, it doesn't irritate my skin. So I can keep using it. I've been using it um, once a week so far. The only con is that um, they do kind of slide down my face. Um, like, like they don't stay put. They'll slide down and I'll keep having to push them back up into the spot where I want them. Um, but other than that, I absolutely love these patches. Um, 
What I will say is similar to how I introduced myself to niacinamide, which was in a sheet mask that I was using. I started using once a week and then I bumped it up to twice a week. If you've been here for a whole minute, uh, I think I started using those in like maybe February, March. It was like the beginning of the year. And I started using those like once a week. And um, I was noticing like slightly um, the difference in my skin using the niacinamide once or twice a week. And I was like, I really want to find a way to incorporate this ingredient into my skincare routine more than just once or twice a week. So that's when I started doing my Googles and my research. And I found my current favorite toner, which is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. And I think that's what I want to do with this retinol. This is my first product using um, retinol um, as a skincare ingredient. Um, and, and I'm really, I'm really loving it. I'm really, really loving it. So I want to be able to incorporate retinol into my skincare routine more than just, you know, a once a week eye patch. So I'm actually, once I finish, once I finish this, um, I'm going to go back and get the actual eye cream. Tony Moly has the Plumpkin Retinol Eye Cream. And it comes in a little thing. It looks like an actual little mini pumpkin and you twist off the top of it and it has the eye cream in there. So once I finish these, I'm going to actually get the eye cream, the coordinating eye cream to match that back, you know, and I'll probably end up replacing my current eye cream, which is good. I don't have no problems with this, but it does not have retinol. And I feel like I do want to have retinol in my skincare routine, especially in the eye area because that's kind of the only area right now where i'm seeing um fine lines and wrinkles i mean i do have like small lines like a little bit um they don't really bother me i do see my makeup creasing a little bit sometimes um not overly so um and actually i've had these fine lines here for a really really long time and they haven't gotten any worse so like with using the products that i'm using i know that they're, they're keeping them at bay so I'm good with that, but I do want to, um, I am seeing like a little bit of increasing, like when I smile big or whatever right here, which is natural. I mean, I'm 40. So I, you know, I do kind of want to add some retinol into my skincare routine. But other than that, that's new. Um, I also have been trying out this, um, you see, it's a Pacifica dry it out acne gel spot treatment. And you know I love Pacifica. I, um, I also use um, their Glow Baby Serum, um, which has um, vitamin C and glycolic acid. Okay, so this has maximum strength 2% salicylic acid, which is an acne medication. And it also has niacinamide. Um, and we know niacinamide is that girl when it comes to skincare ingredients. And so I believe probably my assumption that the main reason niacinamide is in here in addition to all the, you know, all the wonderful things niacinamide does, it also calms the skin. So when there's acne and you're putting acne treatment on it, it may, you know, cause a little redness or something like that to, as it's trying to heal that area. So it has the niacinamide in there to calm the skin down as it's, as it's, you know, doing its thing. And so actually, um, I ordered this. I was, um, I knew that um, Pacifica had, they actually have a whole line. They have um, a face wash, a body wash, um, um, a moisturizer like all specific with you know for acne treatment and um, I wanted to try just this you know the spot treatment uh, and I was hoping that it would get to Ulta so I could just buy it from Ulta since I'm there almost all the time I feel like now anyway but you know and also I have my my birthday gift card still um, but I wanted to um, just buy it from Ulta it's a ten dollar product and if I ordered it which would have been the only thing I was ordering from Pacifica I would have to pay $6 shipping. And you know how I feel about paying too much for shipping. So I didn't want to pay $16 for a $10 product. And I was like, I'll just wait to try it until they get it at Ulta, which I knew they probably would eventually. As far as I know, they still don't yet. So I did go ahead and order it from Pacifica. Again, it's a $10 product. I ordered it when they had um, like a holiday promo code. They may still have it. Um, but um, I got it like, four dollars off three or four dollars off so i only ended up paying twelve dollars for it which is not much more than i would have paid for it in store including tax and everything but i really really like this as well i came in on thursday so i've been using it since thursday night i used it thursday night and then um friday night because you know like if something a new product if it irritates my skin it can sometimes not like i don't see the irritation until about 24 hours later so i waited until friday night um, to make sure it didn't irritate my skin because the directions say you can use it one to three times a day. So um, I don't know if you can see 
there's like a little bit of something right there i'm gonna put there um there's a little bit of something right here as well um but i i think i'm gonna skip i don't know i might skip that one for now since it has a little bit of the retinol on it i don't know we'll see and then there's a little bit of something right there but that's pretty much gone i'm gonna put it right there as well um i last used this last night but since again you can use it one to three times daily you just kind of squeeze it and it dumps out the product and i like it you can feel it working it does tinkle it does tinkle like you can feel it going in there um there's a little something right there too i think i, I think i am just gonna go right here just a little taste but like you, you can feel it working like i said but it doesn't i'm just kind of testing it out right now because i don't want to use it too much if like if i'm using it three times a day like it says i don't want to use it too much to where it's going to leave a mark after the the breakout is gone and i believe that's another reason why the night nice is in there because it face dark spots so i think it's trying to counteract you know any irritation from acne treatment and then anything that it may leave behind as far as the acne itself or from the you know the treatment product so so far so good of course i'll let you know if it does you know leave any lasting irritation but you know from my birthday having so much makeup on on my birthday because you know I'm, t I'm typically like uh a once a week girl when it comes to makeup i'll put on makeup like on saturdays i'm working from home so i don't wear makeup for work during the week like i used to and so i wear my makeup once a week on saturdays for a few hours and having makeup on all day for my birthday i've had makeup on like from 9 a.m all the way till about five or so and then i washed my makeup off got in the shower and then did a whole nother beat when we went out to dinner that night and had makeup on for a few more hours and my skin was like a little bit upset with me i did have a little bit more breakouts than i usually would have that following week and then also i got my period so i had a hormonal breakout this one right here in the middle of my nose um so that's why i was like you know what i'm not gonna wait for this product to get to old so i'm just gonna go ahead and get it so i can try it and so far so good um this is um i'm actually gonna put on a little bit of makeup today and it'll be the first time wearing makeup since my birthday all right girl so just finished getting ready, did my makeup, got dressed. Honestly, I don't have much on today's agenda. I just kind of wanted to get up and get cute since I haven't, since my birthday, <laughs> in two weeks since my birthday. But um, we're just gonna run a few errands today, grab some lunch. There's a bunch of college football games on today and you know we are a sports household um this weekend is um like championship weekend so it's teams playing that will determine um what bowl games the different teams are going to be in and then also what teams will make um the playoffs so we're hoping that you know some things fall in place so that texas can make it to the playoffs but we'll see girl you know how everybody loves alabama so mm. because I would have to wear it over because I also like I do like this is just I got on this little two-piece um, legging set I got from Amazon earlier in the year um, and I like that it has these little thumb holes um, it's actually not as cold today as it has been like earlier in the week but it's still chilly outside and I'm almost always at least a little bit chilly anyway so I think I think I'm just gonna keep it simple today and throw on. You know what? Actually, instead of these earrings, I think I might. Well, let me see how they look. The earrings that my mother in law gave me for my birthday. These cute little wooden earrings. How cute, right? See. These are cute, right? 
What do you think? You know what? I think I'm going to go with the earrings I got for my birthday. As much as I love, you know, I love these bamboo hoops. I wear them with just about everything. And since I do, I think I'm going to just switch it up and wear my new birthday earrings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cute, right? I like. Other than that, I have on my regular everyday jewelry. I have on my little gold necklace that you can hardly even see, at least in the light. Um, I just added this gold ring, um, my wedding set, and then my gold bracelet that I always wear. It's tucked under here. And that's why I think I'm just gonna not even worry about a watch today, but. All right, this is like our first chill weekend in what seems like forever, like forever, forever. Like even before my birthday, my birthday photo shoot and all of that, like we were focused on Halloween and everything. So I feel like for the past maybe six, seven weeks, we've been like doing the most. So this is like our first weekend where we don't have a lot to do even though our last couple weekend last weekend we were at home for thanksgiving and everything um we were still we were cooking and eating th for thanksgiving but then also for black friday we were putting up um christmas decorations inside and out so we were kind of doing a lot even last weekend even though we were at the, at the house and this weekend we kind of you know stepped out a little bit but it's still gonna be like chiller more chill than the past few weekends so um this is just today's handbag I got my pink handbag it's a crossbody fragrance of the day juicy couture gold couture i feel like i haven't worn this one in a while last weekend we were at the house and then before that i was having my special occasion for but let me show you a full fit check Okay, so we got the bright yellows, the highlighter yellow Amazon specials. The two-piece set is from Amazon as well. It's a super stretchy, super comfortable. Um, it's actually kind of tight and snug and it kind of sucks you in. So that's kind of good. If you're a workout girly, you might like this. I am not. So I just wear it to be cute in it. And then I got my pink circle bag this is like from my last attempt with timu so i'm not even gonna link it even if i could but it's cute it'll do um and yeah that's today's fit we had to re-up on some of our go-to pizza our favorite pizza the huge pepperoni with green peppers and breakfast bacon for husband, pepperoni with extra cheese and mushrooms for me, and watching the Longhorns win. Try it on over what you got on. It looks good when you have like your long sleeves well, with it. I feel like it might be okay. You gonna uh -huh. get one too? Yeah, I'm gonna get one. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. 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 Yeah, I'm g
You want to get one just like like you, or you want to get this? I mean, to wait to the party? Yeah. One just like you? Yeah. I mean, if you get that one. All right, girl, let me show you what we got from Walmart. So, I found the pajama pants for husband, our matching. We always wear matching Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve night. I found myself some pants um, from Amazon. They're just some little jogger pants in the same print, but these are fleece, so these are like super warm. Mine are, mine are just like jogger material, <clears throat> like a thin jogger material. But these will be for Christmas Eve night. And we actually are hosting a Christmas party this year. And like to match our Christmas decorations, which are red and black this year, I'm, you know, I wanted to wear red and black to the Christmas party that we're hosting. So I was gonna wear black pants and a red sweater that I already have. But while we were at Walmart, we saw these red shirts. And you know, you know how I feel about Snoopy in the game. And I have a blue shirt. Well, we actually both have. If you saw my last, uh, my my vlogmas, my first vlogmas video, you saw that um, we have matching shirts. They're like blue, like this with Snoopy on his little house. But these um, these red ones say, "Is it Christmas yet?" So we got matching one of these. We're gonna wear black pants with these shirts um, to the Christmas party, and then um, to match his Christmas pants, I'm just gonna wear like a black shirt, a plain black shirt. And husband is gonna wear this shirt. Naughty is the new nice from um, the Nightmare Before Christmas. That's that movie, right? With the little skeleton guy, yeah. Um, but yeah, girl, we got a couple other things, but just like you know, some uh, some stuff we was out of. You know, we normally have like a weekly Walmart run, and we're trying to get ourselves down to every other week at Walmart. And so our real Walmart week will be next week. We just wanted to get a couple things, but yeah, girl, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.